Hello, my ninja families, it's me, Hakeem Intoshi Isler, head instructor here at Elevo Dynamics. And today we are coming back with another Mindful Monday. All right, today we're thinking about uh, a phrase that I heard from the book, The Four Agreements. And in this phrase, one of the four agreements is uh, to not assume, to not assume, to not make assumptions. And I find this very valuable in my life and I hope that you can too. Very, it's very easy in a fast-paced world for us to make quick assumptions about what we see or how we encounter things. And uh, in my personal life, sometimes I will shoot out emails. I shoot a thousand emails a day and I'll shoot out emails to people and um, they don't respond for like a day or two days. And immediately I see sometimes in my mind, it likes to go to, well, maybe I said something wrong in the email. Maybe they're upset at me for some reason that I don't know about or something's wrong. And it's, it doesn't mean that something's wrong, right? I'm just doing, that's how, that's, that's me doing that in my own mind. But the reality is, is that sometimes people are just busy. I've had instances where I thought a person uh, was upset or maybe I had said something wrong in a Facebook message or an email. And then I, I decide, oh, well, I'm gonna listen to the four agreements. I'm not gonna make an assumption. I'm gonna reach back out to that person. And then all of a sudden uh, I reach out to them and they say, oh, uh, I'm so glad that you reached out to me. I totally forgot about this, um, you know, this email. I went to respond to it and something happened and I got sidetracked. And now, oh man, I've been living these, these two or three days and, and you know, in chaos, in, internal chaos, thinking uh, this person didn't like me or whatever, and uh, only to find out that that wasn't the case at all. Uh, I've had instances where um, you know, I email something to someone that's very important. I need them to respond right away. They never respond. And then I'm just like, well, I'm done with that person. And then weeks go by and all of a sudden I get an email from that person. Hey, this went to my spam box and I'm so sorry. I just saw this. Uh, you know, is it too late for me to help? Oh man, I feel so bad. Like, oh man, I was thinking this person was mad at me. I was thinking that there was all this stuff going on. Nope. It was something that wasn't in their control, wasn't in my control, it just went to their spam box and yep, we're still friends and everything's cool. So I know I, I'm bringing this up because I'm being very honest about that. And I know that there are other people out there who struggle with that and who deal with that as well. I mean, that's why the Four Agreements, you know, is it, a popular book. It's because people um, do deal with some of these challenges. And in this particular case, we make assumptions all the time. We make assumptions all the time. It's not to say that sometimes your assumptions aren't right, right? You could really be sensing something off of a person and you make that assumption and you could be right. But I find that communication is the best way to deal with that. Um, hard communication sometimes where you just reach out to a person and say, hey, I sent you an email. Did I do something to make you upset? And, oh no, you didn't do anything to make me upset. I just lost the email versus me making the choice that, oh no, they're mad at me. Uh, I'm just not gonna respond to them. I'm done being their friend. Um, nope, maybe it's just a weakness in their own life where uh, they read the message, but they, they plan to get back, but then they forget. Um, and so giving and showing people grace, I think is really what that's about. It's saying, and having faith in them and saying that, you know, uh, maybe this person just has things going on and maybe I should reach out to them again even though they haven't responded. Um, that's one of the things that I want you to think about um, in your life. I want you to leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever had an instance like that. Leave a comment below um, and share that with me. If you see me in class uh, today or this week, tell me about an experience you had. Tell me if you experienced that this week. That would be great to hear from you as well. Today. Your thoughts influence your life, and your life influences your thoughts, and you have a choice on how you experience both. My name is Hakeem Ntoshi Isler from Elevo Dynamics. Until next time, my friends.